Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. It will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Scorpio placement that you may have in your chart. All contact information is in the description box. This is also for the fourth week of September. Although time is not linear, we're all on different timelines. And we're jumping right in for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Four cards out. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. Fourth week of September. I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards for you at the end just to give you some more guidance for the week. The bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at the Six of Wands. Victoria's energy, um, being acknowledged, being recognized for your skills, for your arts, your abilities, whatever it is that you bring to the world, to your friend group, to your relationship, definitely could be getting public recognition if you guys, if this is more career related, but definitely feeling on top of the world here, feeling victorious, or there is something that you want to be victorious and you want to be successful in or succeed in. Could be anything um, wands do speak of our passion, so something that definitely gets you excited. Definitely could be a relationship or some sort of career opportunity or endeavor. Okay, past energy. We are looking at the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So definitely there was some sort of ending. There was something that caused you a lot of pain here in the past with the Three of Swords. Definitely some of you ended a relationship or a marriage is what I'm hearing. With the Knight of Pentacles energy, very single energy, but self-efficient energy. So if there is a relationship, a situation, definitely could be a job as well that meant a lot to you that you had to walk away from, maybe due to some sort of backstabbing or something painful definitely happened here, um, causing you, putting you in an independent position, putting you in an independent position, but um, very strong nonetheless, because Nine of Pentacles is very self-efficient. Single or in a team, this person can take care of themselves. They can pay their bills. They can, you know, they can fend for themselves. They uh, they know how to get, you know, they know how to survive. They don't depend on anyone or anything outside of their own abilities and talents to succeed, right? Which would definitely tie back into that six of wands. But there definitely was something that caused you a lot of pain, but you came out strong. You held your head high nonetheless. Present position. Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, sorry. Ten of Cups, more confirmation of definitely could be a relationship or maybe even a job that you could have thought was going to last a very long time with the Ten of, Pen with the Ten of Cups there. Uh, maybe you've been working at the situation, job or relationship, person, place or thing for a very long time. Um, you know, this is something you thought you were going to do forever. It kept you happy for a long time, but... Definitely feeling that this has ended for you with that 10 energy of the 10 of cups. Definitely seems like some sort of long-term situation that at one point made you very happy. No longer made you happy. Or however it applies, this could be someone in your energy. If this is not you directly, um, you had to stand up for yourself very clearly here with the seven of wands. You had to stand your ground, face opposition. Maybe people didn't necessarily agree with you ending the situation or walking away from the situation, but you had to do what was right. And I think that's why you're coming in with that Nine of Pentacles energy. Uh, you knew that this wasn't right for you or there is someone around you connected to you that has either recently left something behind that they were involved in for a very long time. Um, could have definitely been a hard decision and definitely there was some heartbreak, whether it was your, on your behalf or someone else's, but definitely fighting for what is yours, fighting for what you deserve, standing up for what makes you happy. Right, walking away, and maybe that is what's making you feel victorious. This ending of whatever it is definitely could be a thought pattern as well, or a restriction. Maybe you've been restricting yourself from allowing yourself to go after the things that you want. You know, a long cycle of just not feeling good enough that could be what was breaking your heart the entire time. Right, the lack of confidence definitely seems like if that is the case, confidence is definitely here to be had. Confidence is definitely here to be had. There could definitely be someone watching you with that page of swords underneath the six of wands online, maybe. Um, future energy, two major arcanas, 
the hangman and the temperance. So definitely some major shifts and lessons have been learned here. Um, definitely could have been stagnant for a very long time, but I definitely think you're coming into the realization now of what is going to make you happy, who's going to make you happy, where is going to make you happy, leaving the things that, that don't fit the bill. This could have taken a long time, a lot of patience, a lot of balancing with that temperance card, Sagittarius energy and um, Pisces energy, I believe, with the hangman. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. But definitely the universe was also at play. You weren't seeing something, and I think you weren't seeing yourself, right? You weren't seeing yourself. You see both these per, uh, pictures here have illumination around the head, the head being lit up, seeing something that you never saw. And I think it's your confidence. I think it's your ability to take care of yourself emotionally, to depend on yourself financially, to depend on yourself. Whatever this is you were in for a very long time, I think it definitely clouded your judgment played on you know the insecurities and things like that but i think you've snapped out of it definitely stepped out of it i definitely think this is someone else's heart that could have been broken as well because all this beautiful energy here is definitely resonated as your energy scorpio or you're coming out of this period where you're seeing this ending as something painful and now realizing is it's exactly what you needed it's exactly what you needed but it took time and patience and sacrifice as well sacrificing what other people think of you right and this is the ultimate victory absolutely ultimate victory and i definitely think that there's someone watching you now that you are independent self-efficient and confident you have the page of swords energy underneath there which is watching researching gathering information so this could be you watching someone or someone observing you in your newfound confidence right scorpio Fourth week of September, what do they need to know? One card for Scorpio, perfect. Number 37, Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit. This is courage, this is confidence. Some of you are definitely finding your confidence. You're definitely coming out of a cycle where you have needed to learn. That was the lesson to be self-contained, to be reliant on yourself, to trust that you can rely on yourself. Really coming into that lion energy. The lion is the king of the jungle, as we know. There's nothing more confident than a lion, especially when his mane is all full. <laughs> Let's get some moonology for Scorpio. Oops, perfect. Pisces energy, full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is definitely connecting to your 3D self with your higher self. Really fusing the two together, right? Really seeing that there is no one or the other. They're both in and the same, right? When you are balanced within your spiritual body, which is your mind, your soul, you are balanced. Your, your external world also reflects that balance, right? Beautiful energy. And from the work your light for Scorpio, fourth week of September, too many, but we'll take the top. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Very blatant, very straight to the point. This is distortion. You weren't seeing yourself accurately. This is exactly who, what you have always been. But whatever situation you were in in the past here that, that was causing you heartbreak, deluding you, because swords are also thoughts, definitely deluding you, not allowing yourself to see yourself clearly. And I think this is what you're letting go. This is what you have recently let go or whoever this is pertaining in your life you are connected to. Could be your friend, maybe your relationship with someone you are recently meeting or someone that you have been dealing with that has been going through this. Definitely could have been a bit silent with that um, hangman energy, but someone is coming into their confidence. They're realizing who they are. They are waking up to their full potential. Hopefully this is you, Scorpio. I hope it does. I hope it resonates with every single one of you. And thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.